Hello, bees, bladers. Welcome back. Welcome newcomers to the channel. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a new model from Wee Knife and oh my gosh, it's an integral. I can't wait to check it out. We're going to get in here. I'm not going to waste any time. So you ready? Let's get it started right now. I hope your day or night or evening or afternoon or lunch hour or whatever time of the day it is for you is going very well. I'm having a fantastic day and I wish you nothing but the same. And uh, 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 can I get in this box? <laughs> <laughs> did not go as quickly as I was hoping. But if you've seen my channel or if you've seen Wee Knife videos, you know they come with all the cool accoutrement and the nice little microfiber cloth. But oh my gosh, oh, I'm always excited when we get a Wee Knife to check out because they are so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 look at this. It has an extra titanium clip, which I'll tell you about here in just a second because you know I have notes. Oh yes, this is the Wee Knife OAO otherwise known as one and only. And we will see if this is going to be the one and only. Oh my goodness gracious. Jungle wear, fat carbon fiber inlays. Would you look at it? Just look at it and oh wow. Okay, all right, this feels very cool. It looks futuristic. It looks like it's from the future. And wait a minute, where, how are we gonna, wh where's the, Oh, okay, look at that. We have a nested frame lock. I, I was looking over here. Now this is different. I don't know that I've ever seen another one, another knife that has the frame lock completely hidden like this. We'll see, I'm hoping that's gonna work. And look at this. I told you it was integral. Ooh, wow, look at this knife. It is beautiful. So it is right hand or left hand carry. You have a milled titanium clip right here and there's another clip if you wanna put it on the left side and it does have a titanium filler tab. You have a place for a lanyard. Wow, this is about as crispy as a knife can get. And let me get you in here just a little bit and look at that carbon fiber. A little bit of carbon fibre. Oh yeah, that looks so good. The jungle wear. There's three or four different versions of this knife, but I want to check this one out. Do we have any jipping? There's no jipping up here on the flipper. We'll see how that's going to work, but we do have a landing pad for the index finger and I bet this is going to work. Are you ready? I mean, are you ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh my goodness. I'm in the presence of greatness. This knife is absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, Gorgeous. This is one of the best knives to enter my collection. Wow. Let's start from one end and go down to the other. Look at this blade. That is stunning. <laughs> I, I need more adjectives. Wow, that is beautiful. You have room for sharpening if you are going to end up sharpening this knife. This is a knife enthusiast grail knife. This is grail knife territory. Wow. That blade is absolutely stunning. CPM 20 CV blade steel on this bad boy. And what's our lockup look like? The lockup is good. It's look like it's around 35, 40%. And oh, okay, all right, it's good. All right, this is gonna work. And is it centered? Oh yeah, I wouldn't expect any less from Wii. Now let's check this out. Oh yeah, <laughs> that feels good. And you know what? I was worried. I thought, is this gonna be my first Wii knife that I don't like because there's no pass-through? Even though it doesn't look like there's pass-through, there's adequate width, there's adequate room, and that right there is buttery smooth. That, oh my goodness. Is this gonna move up to my favorite knife? Look how smooth, listen to the sound. It's very distinct. Oh my God. Oh, and it's drop shutting. <laughs> oh yes. Let me give you a couple quick size comparisons just so you can know how this knife is in your hand. Here is the QSP Penguin in titanium. And then how about we put out the Wii Elementum? How about that? No, I always talk about the Civivi Elementum, but if you wanna go up a notch and get some nicer materials, you can go up to the Wii Elementum. So there's a couple, and let me put a couple other popular brands up here, a couple popular knives. There is the Spyderco Para 3 and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So you see it's right in line with the size of the Paramilitary 2. And we're gonna check out the action and the ergos a little bit more here in just a second. I have two more size comparison knives. There's the Wii Banter, and then how about the Wii Big Banter? Oh yeah! 
full size knife. And I'm gonna tell you right now, as a knife reviewer, what's going through my head. Just first impressions. And we've I've only seen this knife for what, four minutes now? My first impressions are this is this is going to be a grail knife. It has an absolutely beautiful, and I mean a beautiful drop point blade. Look at the finish. As far as the fit and the finish, the fit we know is good. It is, I mean, it's solid. Solid as a rock. It, there's no movement. We know it has good lockup. The blade is centered. It is gorgeous. Everything feels good. The edges are very nicely chamfered on the, on the edges of that titanium integral handle. I like the little kick with the blue on inside the Wii symbol. I like how they did that. They integrated that in there and wow, you do not need to replace this with any kind of fancy bearings. It is just that good. Here's a little bit of acoustics. Wow, let me wipe this blade off. And then we'll see if the ergos are as good as everything else so far. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And please let this be, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. My first and middle finger fit into this slot like a glove. So nice. Oh, so nice. I have a large width hand. This will fit extra large hands. And because you don't have a back flipper, you can choke up and get up in here. If you are actually going to use this as a working knife, which you can because it is a frame lock. And, you know, I, I had all kinds of trepidations, if you will, about this knife wondering what is going to be about this and that just based on the pictures that I saw. And all of those trepidations are now gone. Wow, this bad boy from tip to tip is 7.86 inches long. It has a 3.4 inch blade. And like I said, it's 20 CV steel, baby. And it's listed at four ounces. I'm sure it's right around that mark. It doesn't even feel like it weighs four ounces. So the action, the ergonomics, the aesthetics, everything about this knife are, are absolutely spot on. This is going to be, I'm calling it a grail knife because this is a premium knife. It is, you can tell it is premium just from the feel of how smooth the action is and everything about it feels good in the hand. It not only looks good, it feels good. And I'm really digging that jungle wear fat carbon. Oh, wow. It just, it's just the right amount of green and gray and black. And when you move it in the light, you can see the different layers. This is, this is phenomenal. Every time I get a new Wii knife, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my new favorite. And this, I believe, have, has moved to the top just because of how it feels. I don't know. I have another one that I've been carrying a lot. It might still be my favorite EDC. I don't know that this one's going to be an EDC just because of how premium it is and how nice it is. I don't think I'm going to be using this to open packages of mulch or be oh, cutting into bags of concrete or anything with this. But wow, let me know what you think about this. I am very curious to hear if you like the looks of this or the other versions of this model. It's the OAO, the one and only. And I can see this being your one and only or top knife. It is that good. If you want to know anything more about it or have any more questions, every Friday night, Bees Blades, live at the Hive. Oh, right. That's where we have a live stream that's three or four hours long. It starts at 8.15 Eastern time. If you subscribe and you hit the bell button, you'll be notified a half an hour before the live stream starts. And it, it is free to subscribe. A lot of people didn't know that. So definitely do that so you won't miss out on this and all the new Bees Blades content, content that's coming out. And there's going to be a lot of it. So go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the live streams or the chats or right after you hit the thumbs up for this video, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.